welcome my friends to my second video. Thank you for joining in with me today, the March the 10th. Uh, I indeed am back and I'm here today to tell you a story my friends. One of the first things that's ever happened to the Dance of Life. In, Mar in uh, January of 2010, you might be able to read it in my book my friend, Seven Days in Hell. Yes, my friends, I am talking about the literal lake of fire. I, your Dance of Life dancer, had a near-death experience. Right now, I'm not going to talk about where it is, but I died. I took a visit, and I visited hell, my friends. And you read this, it's quite an experience. Undescribable. I saw the lake of fire. I saw Jesus. Jesus sent me back to do the dance of life, to tell the world not to hate. Jesus sent me back to tell the world, stop wasting time. Stop hating people for who they are. Jesus doesn't hate, Jesus doesn't hate anybody. I don't hate anybody. Even the ones that did me wrong. Have a great day, everybody. How I saw, I was in a room where I saw ghosts. I saw stuff that I can't even begin to explain. I saw things that go back and forth. My friends, seven days in hell I saw the lake of fire. Burned people. People screaming. Dear God. You gotta get copies of my book, my friend, but I'm gonna talk about a lot of it on the air. Right now this is just my second introductory introduction. Um this happened in January 2010 and I was there for seven days and that changed me my friend. Dance of Life was always about Jesus, it was about the beauty of life, it was about the next world that we're all going to go in where we're, we're all going to have peace. I don't talk about that a lot because I don't want to discriminate against people but that is what, basically what the Dance of Life is about. I don't talk about that, I talk about that in a different way than people understand. I tell about the beauty of life. I express it through my, my dance. But my friends, you need to read this because this is really something. Because I was in a room. I felt the heat. I felt the lost. I felt the pain. I felt the separation. The separation from this world. The separation from everything that was beautiful. The separation from life. I saw death, my friend. I stared death in the face. And my friend, I'll tell you something. It's not a place you want to go. That's why we all want to get in on the dance of life. Instead of spending all your time hating people. Discriminating against them because of who they are. I saw fire. I saw the judgment room. The judgment room of God. Yes, my friend, it's all in here. Every bit of it is in here. Every bit of it. How, how that I thought that I had hung myself and I saw people going back and forth that weren't really there. Stuff that I will never understand. Frozen with fear, petrified. That's two of the feelings you're going to feel if you ever take a trip to this place, my friend. I saw Jesus. I saw the end of my own life. I saw life repeat over and over and over. The same day, I can tell you what, what does it feel like to be dead? You don't even know you're dead. That's some of the stuff I talk about in here. You don't even know you're dead. All of a sudden, you're going to be in the same place as you are now. And everything's going to keep continuing over and over and over again until it starts getting strange. Stuff is going to happen to you that wouldn't, couldn't possibly happen in real life. Then you're going to know you're, you're in hell. The feeling of falling into that pit. I'll tell you something. It's the worst feeling you ever want to feel. Total separation. Total separation from everything. Total separation from life. Total separation from everything that's living. Because in hell there's nothing exists. I can tell you that right now, but hell. It's all ending. All stopping. All death. All black. But 
book is about 75 pages long, my friend. No comfort. You don't get no rest there. There's uh, nothing but torture for each, every single day. You're going to want to read this story and you're going to want to hear my story in the coming days. But that's where I was in uh, March of uh, 2010. January of 2010. It's been a while since I made a video. You're going to have to excuse me, my friends. But I was returned to this world. And I was told to do the dance of life for Jesus. For Jesus. Now, I don't talk about Jesus a lot because I don't want to discriminate against people. I don't want to hurt people. I don't want to take grounds. I don't want to take, you know, people's views. So I do it differently. I hope you people out there understand that. I don't sit there and, and go and slam somebody with Jesus or this religion or that religion or whatever. I do it quite differently. I do it all through my dance. I tell them about the beauty of life. I tell them about the beauty of life that's going to come. Because that's where we're all going to be when we have peace. No more war. No more hatred. Hey, I talk about that all the time. And it's going to happen, my friend. Not here in this world, my friend. But the next one. Well, your Dance of Life dancer, my friend. In the coming weeks and stuff, we'll be putting more of these on the air. And I'll be talking more and more about this stuff. And you might want to get a copy of my books. Because... Everything in there, when you read this story, it's going to be unbelievable. It's not something you could sit there and talk about on camera because it's too, it was too horrifying of an experience. It was too scary. It was too, yes, Dance of Life gets scary too. It was too separate, total separation from everything that was alive. All I looked at, when I looked at it, was, was dead people. Dead people in fire. Dead people in, in hell. Oh, my Lord. I saw the chains. I saw the room. I saw hell. I felt the heat. I felt what it was like to be in, in fi on fire. In fire. Well, my friends, I gotta go for now. But I hope you enjoy my videos to come up. Because there's gonna be some quite interesting videos. Some quite interesting stories, my friend. From the south side of hell to the beautiful world of the living. It's where each one of us wants to be. My friends out there, I wish you a great day. The dance of life has returned. I have returned in order to tell you, my friends, don't waste a day. Because the breath of life is a gift. Each one of us would share with others until the end of everything. Everything beautiful. Have a great day, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Good night. From the dance of life.